This is the third video that I'm going to be shooting today and quite frankly, it's the most personal one. I already shot my cooking video for shortbread biscuits and the Fuji Film Sangles video. These are going to be uploaded either before or after this video. But this video is going to be kind of a life update and just more from a personal vlog type of video. And to be honest, I have not vlogged in a really long time. And when I have, it was very like location oriented. I kind of gave a history on places and what events are going on. I haven't really expressed myself in quite a while. So in this video, I'm going to be just talking about myself, I guess. Firstly, I'm still living in Tohar, which is in the middle of nowhere if you didn't know, like there's nothing around. But it's pretty cool and today it was actually snowing. Have a look at these clips. Like, I've gone to skate in my corridor. I better put B-roll. Light some fires. And also, I chopped some wood. So, tower is pretty good. Also, I've been cooking quite a lot in this house. I haven't made videos about most of these dishes, but Basically, I cook nearly every single day and I bake as well. So over the past weekend, I've made double chocolate biscuits, some shortbread kind of fingers thingies, I, I'm not sure. They're good though. I've uh, made muffins, cake, well, two types of cake, and a lot of main dinner dishes. So yeah, I've been pretty busy and by the way, all of these things are vegan and if you want me to give you recipes or etc., I'll make a video right away. So moving away from my house for a minute, I'm still in college for four more months, yeah, till mid-May around. And if you didn't know, I'm studying tourism with business and this is a fantastic course if you did not already know. I absolutely love it, the teachers are great and the hours are really, really short. It's kind of weird how I think six people already dropped out of the course and yeah, the class is getting really small. Like my official class has only nine people in it. <laughs> Oh yeah, this course also includes work placement or work experience depending on what region in the world you're from. And I'll be going to a pretty good hotel soon enough. So I'm really looking forward to that. I make, I'll make sure to shoot a video or two or even take a few photos. I'm just gonna like let my hair loose because this is in my next point. My hair has gone really really long and I mean, and I can put it in a full bun no problem but Here's the thing, I don't know what to do with it because although long hair is so handy and easy and you don't need to take care of it at all, it's kind of annoying at points, especially when you're cooking. I always have to wear rubber bands and, oh fuck, <laughs> hair bands. <laughs> and when I'm wearing a hat, it's just a hassle. That brings me to the next point. I nearly always have to wear a hat in my house. And this is because for the past six days, I've had zero heat at all. Which is absolutely awful, I think. Because it's like, it's still winter. And outdoors, it goes to minus degrees. Like today it was snowing, come on, it's freezing. And yeah, we have no heating. So we're relying on our fireplace with the wood I chopped, as well as a little oil radiator to heat our house up. It's not great, but you know, what can you do? And this is the reason why I'm trying to move houses as well. We're looking for a house in Drada, like a three bed house would be perfect, but we're kind of struggling. There's not a lot of available houses left. Yeah. So, what did I do in my pastimes in this freezing old house? Well, I go into my bed, this bed right here, turn on my electric blanket, they're amazing by the way. And just read. I've been reading so much lately. And if you're familiar with my channel, you probably saw some of my book reviews, but the truth is that most of those books were read before September and the reviews were done around October, November. So yeah, I haven't been really updating these on my books. I've essentially read four books over the Christmas break and they're all kind of self-help books apart from one, which was Dracula, great book. Bram Stoker, you were you're one of my idols, to be honest. I do apologize about the lighting change, but it's gone dark really, really fast. 
So anyways, back to book reviews. I'm assuming most of you have been to school and in English class you probably read a book and had to write a short review or summary of it. And you know, that kind of takes away from the fun of it because you have to dig in deep, look at the plot, the characters, and you don't enjoy it for what it is, like the whole package. It's like watching a movie and you're just looking for the mistakes. You kind of lose that initial wow that it gives you. Talking about this, I've been really enjoying reading books and not having to review them. It's just so relaxing and puts me at peace. At the minute, I'm reading Ready Player One. No spoilers though. Photography wise, in the past month, I got a new lens, the Helios 44258F2 lens. <sighs> that is a mouthful. It's a great portrait lens and I've been kind of using it in street photography as well, trying to use the auto uh, trying to use the manual focus on leaving subjects. It's super easy to use and I absolutely love it. Then what else happened in December? Well, I cancelled two photo shoots, yeah. I could explain right now but it's a long story and I'll leave that for another video if you want it. But yeah, I've been essentially shooting a lot lately, like around 500, 600 photos in the past few weeks. And I've been experimenting, experimenting so much with lighting composition and doing quite a bit of product photography, especially of my cooking and the things I'm trying to sell on my adverts, link below. Then kind of most importantly, we quite often forget about this stuff. Health wise, what have I been doing? Friday January, I decided to give up some things and not because of that whole New Year resolutions business. I don't really believe in that. If, you're, if you want to do something, you just gotta do it. But anyways, it turned out that New Year's was uh, quite hectic with alcohol and stuff. So I ended up giving up drink for this whole January and I'll carry it on to February and as long as I want. And I've also decided to nail down my diet especially this month. For most weekdays and some weekends, I decide to partake in the warrior diet at the minute. Sounds savage, right? Well, you see, this diet you fast for 23 hours and then you have one hour to eat. And <laughs> you'd be surprised, you can stuff quite a bit in that one hour. But anyways, I've lost a bit of weight and this paired with my exercising has helped me build some muscles so yeah I've been enjoying this diet and it being like an advanced way of fasting has also helped me get more energy and be more alive and like hyperactive so that's pretty damn cool. So what else have I done in January? And by the way it's only like January 17th at the minute so yeah we're just halfway through the whole month. I've done a 46 hour dry fast where I had no food no water and that was super interesting. I allowed my body to finally rest and I got a lot of knowledge from my inner body to my outer, which is superb. This pair with meditation was like life changing, I guess. And I also have been doing 250 push ups for the past two, two and a bit weeks. And I'm starting 300 push ups a day for the next two weeks. That'll be fun. <laughs> <laughs> Then one more point I need to mention about my health. I've been drinking between 25 and 35 cups of liquids every day. And I drink herbal tea mainly. It's, and by herbal tea, I mean tea from leaves and plants and bushes. I don't drink green, red or black tea. That's like about between six and eight liters of fluids every day. So that's been super good, like I've been feeling more alive and my acne has cleared quite a bit. And yes, I know that I have a spot here and a few on my nose, but that's because I kind of messed up my diet in the past few days, so disregard that. Yeah, drink a lot of water or any other fluids, it's super good for you. I'm not sure what else to say. I've been just feeling really tranquil lately. Super calm, super relaxed, super at peace with my inner self. I've been decluttering my life quite a bit as well. And I don't want to say it here because I don't like labels, but I'm becoming a minimalist. As always, it's been a pleasure talking to you. Till next time, Sylvester Productions out.